So how do you how do you turn this thing on exactly? Battery level's good. Sand horn. So is this the only way of operating this thing? Like you have to stand here and hold the alt key and do this. Bottle horn. Train brake, independent brake. Cell. Couple, uncouple. Okay. What's that? You can use the keys. Oh, I see. Okay, so we can just... Hang on a minute. So I can do... Oh, there you go. Nice. So my hotkeys work. There's my independent brake. There's my train brake. There's my throttle. There's my reverser. That's awesome. So once you've got that in, in your hand, you can just look at the train and... That's sweet. So the only thing I don't have mapped is couple and uncouple. Exactly what that is that going to do? Is that going to disconnect the loco from the rest of the train and decouple the brake and the connections? Because that sounds like full-on hacks. Wow. Okay, and wh what does cell do? Does that cell select the, the car and the consist to disconnect? I need to test this. Wow. Wow. That's not remote control. That's actually a hack. Like, that's invaluable for shunting, especially. Where's the shop, anyway? Do you know what? There's one thing that annoys me about this game. It's trying to find the shops and the stations and stuff. Where are we? Machine factory. So, according to this, I came in from the south. It should be D section. What's that? That's the passenger. So it's got to be right of the passengers. Should be here somewhere. Large neon signs, you're not joking. Just thought I'd see what kind of jobs are available here. It looks like all the big expensive ones. Well, that's not a bad one. That's actually quite a good job. Back down to the harbour town again. <laughs> For a change. I think we'll take, um, we'll take 001 up here. How much does it cost to teleport? 1500, go on. We'll do it the easy way, going back. I might, br I might take a quick job to here, so we can take the big run down to the, um, harbour. I'm just going to back this up. Double O one might be gone, don't say that. Why would why would double O one be nicked? Am I gonna find it with its wheels off? See, there's double O one. Is it you or is the sound very choppy? I think it's you. Plug your headphones in properly, it's probably a cable disconnect. Right, let's see what jobs we've got. It's going to be that one. That's a shunting job. Well, I suppose this gives us a chance to try out the remote, right? Let's do this. Let's play around with this one. C. 
C2I. Isn't that where we are? Yeah, C2I. It's this lot here. So we've got a Bluetooth bind it first to 001. Right, so we get this out, we turn it on, and then we press the power. There we go. And then we can just get lazy. I suppose you to find out where it wants this to go. C2I to C6L. Two I to six L. Okay, so we've got to bring it all the way back out the yard. Right, so that's going backwards. Let's try this. Okay, that's hacks. That's Bluetooth hacks right there. It's still 50-50, Daniel. Oh god, this is so much easier. <laughs> like, that is insane amounts easier. Yeah, I'm personally not holding out much hope for the launch, but we'll see. You never know with Florida weather. I, I've been there and I've witnessed it, and it is unbelievable how quickly it can change. JDBNet, welcome back. Jim Rick, thank you for 40 months. See the fact that the the fact that this thing is charged by a solar panel makes you wonder when they implement day and night cycles. How are you gonna recharge this thing during the night time? Yeah, but there's other considerations, Kermit. It's not just the launch itself, it's like if something goes wrong. You know, rescue rescue services have to be able to get to them. So if you've just got like a whole load of trouble in the area, that makes it hard for rescue services to operate if something goes wrong. So it's not just the launch itself. I don't know if it has a micro USB. I'd say what keeps catching me out. I keep operating the train controls without actually having the remote in my hand and then wondering why it's not working. <laughs> okay, right turn, right turn, left turn. 
should be the right one. 757 and 922. Correct. Uh, rocking in the bay, thank you for five months. Right next to the throttle is the red dot, is that the wheel slip indicator? What does the beeping mean, I wonder? Oh yeah, I forgot to... I forgot to use the controller to couple. The whole point of this is I'm meant to be testing this thing. Right, so we're meant to come all the way out of here. Um, six L is not that. Is that 6L? That's 6L. I love the fact you can see how much of the brake is being applied because it puts those LED bars on it. Oh, is that the signal strength in the middle? Yeah. It's actually a really cool remote. Unload the cargo here and uncouple them back at C4S. Where's the actual. Where's the computer terminal? Where the heck is the computer terminal? Oh, there it is. Why is it over here? Oh my god, game. Right, okay. It's raining at the launch site, yeah. We'll just have to see what it's like near 8 o'clock. They'll make a no-go, go decision later. I think chances are it's not going to happen. But we'll see. Wait a sec, I've got to see how this works. So, it says minus one, minus two, minus four. So there's four cars. No, three cars. So that means keep the first one only, right? And if we put it on minus two, it would disconnect here, I assume. Look at that. That's insane! 
That in itself saves a load of time. No matter which way I spin the mouse wheel, that always goes the wrong way. Hackery. C4S. Where's C4S? Okay. Um, let's go forward again. We should stand on the last car. <laughs> 4S should be here somewhere. There is. This one. Happy anniversary, Nata. Yeah, this makes a big difference to shunting in general. I mean, even when you've got like a really long train and you've got two consists in there, or maybe even three, you can just disconnect to the right car without having to walk all the way down the length of the train. Mr. Sedster, thank you for 28 months. Why is the battery indicator just jumping around so much? <laughs> Rather unnervingly. Press the wrong key. There we go. How easy is this? <laughs> what does shunting mean? It means moving things around the yard. You must have heard the phrase to shunt. When you shunt somebody, you basically push them. If it doesn't go today, the next window is 8pm tomorrow. Wow. They got a few windows then. Now, you can't actually tell the engine to turn off, can you? I've noticed. Wait a minute, that didn't uncouple that correctly. In progress. Uh oh. What didn't I do? Oh, scumbag. There's more to this one. I thought I got away with it. <laughs> Hang on. It wants us to take 757 somewhere else. Couple. Minus two. Uncouple. I don't know, remote power on's pretty useful. Once you've bound it to the loco, why would you not want to be able to turn it on and off? Right, where are we going? 
A1. Wait a minute. A1S. Where's the... Oh, my God. Where on earth is A1S? Is that where it says 1S? Is that A? You kidding me, game? That's actually a real pain. That's a real pain to get to. Even without considering the fact that we need to turn this thing around somehow. Like, I don't know how you can turn this around. How can you reverse that in there? I need a plan. I don't have a plan right now. A is always the overview. Ah, okay. Okay, so 1S. How do we turn the whole train around? Because currently the train's traveling east with the local at the front, and I need to reverse into 1S. And there's no reversing point near 1S. Via B. How can I get into B frontwards? It feels like I'm going to have to drop this trailer somewhere and then reposition around it. East, reverse, south, forward to B. Hmm, okay. Sounds like a plausible plan. Quite literally doing a three-point turn around the yard. And the best thing is, this job, they give you how long to do this? 20 minutes and pay you six and a half grand. And it's a complete pain. Okay, so that'll bring it left down here to the bridge. And then we switch at that point. Go check B to see if nothing's there. That will be annoying. The thing I don't like about these shunting jobs, though, is I don't think they pay enough. Because six and a half grand, I reckon about two to three grand of that is going to be just on expenses. And that's like 40-50% compared to like a haul where it, it, you know, costs about 11 to 10 to 15%. I've got one. Thank you. Wait, I can't remember which way the train was facing. I think it's forward. If it starts getting quieter, I've gone the wrong way. If I see a train coming, I got it right. You don't understand train versus independent braking. Train, train braking. Okay. Let's let's get this in. Let's get this in, and then I'll explain it. It's pretty simple. 
You never use shunting, you always put shunting jobs in the bin. That's far. I think I think there's a a balancing issue that they need to do. So one S, I reckon that is one S. That is genuinely Mrs. Squirrel. Yeah. Think of it this way. The train brake means I want the brakes on the entire train to operate. So you know how they're all connected by a brake hose, right? That hose provides the air pressure that you need to release the brakes on all the cars. The independent brake hang on, the independent brake only applies to the locomotive. It's independent of the rest of the train. Happy anniversary. Also called hang on, I've got lost. Where's this stupid thing? There it is. Turn that in. I think that's it. Finally. Whee! I got a bonus. Got 10 grand for that. Actually got a bonus. I did it with uh, 26 seconds left. <laughs> Where's it gone? Where did I leave it? It's so ridiculously easy to get lost around here. There is. Yeah, so you know how you've got this air hose here, right? So inside the train, the engine runs and it generates air pressure and it stores it in a tank. And then when you basically say to the apply the train brake, it lets air in this hose, which pressurizes the pipe, and that releases the brake calipers off the brake disc. So in other words, it stops clamping the wheels. Yeah. The shoes release away. So by default, if you don't put any pressure in the pipe by default the brakes will be on like that you have to put pressure in to move them away from the wheel now if you don't have your hose connected here you can't release the brake calipers on here on these wheels so this is very very hard to move unless you connect up the brake hose put the pressure in the line and release the shoes from the wheels so the train brake is the whole thing. If this is like 20 cars long, the train brake releases the shoes on all 20 cars. If you put the locomotive brake on, or the independent brake, the only things you're releasing are these. Now what that does is if you've not got much of a load going on here, you can use just the locomotive brake because it's much faster to apply and release. It's much more versatile. You can get fine-tuned braking with it. But it can't cope with the weight of all this. There's too much. If you've got a big train here, it can't hope to cope with that. But maybe going down a hill, you can use a bit of independent brake and just shave off a little bit of acceleration. But if you need to stop, you better use the train brake. That's basically it. It's absolutely a safety feature. The safety is, by default, the brakes are on and you have to force air in there to release them. That's the safety built in. Yeah. So when you see here, independent brake, try to think of it, it's independence of the rest of the train. This only applies to my locomotive. It's independent. It is the locomotive brake. The train brake is the whole train. Happy Mr. Redcom, thank you for 25 months. Matter. So we release that. Yeah, boy. I love that. That's so cool. Mr. Redcom, thank you for 25 months. You see, cars don't work that way. This is why people get confused. With a car, the brakes are released by default, and you have to apply pressure to put the brakes on. So if I press on the brake, I apply the brake. It doesn't work like that with heavy loads. Trains and trucks can't work that way. 
If the engine fails and it stops generating air pressure, you don't want the thing just careering down the hill. It stops by default. But that's why it takes time. It takes time to release the brakes because you have to, you have to pump the air into the hose. It takes time to release. Very quick to apply. If you want to slam your brakes on, you just open the valve and all the air rushes out and the brakes go bonk. <laughs> but when you want to release them, it's like, yeah, it takes a bit of time. Um, C. Nelson, thank you for 71 months, sir. Uh, how much fuel has this thing got? Most fuel. Let's see what jobs have got out of here. Good evening, Mike. Food factory, Harbour Town. I like quite like the look of that one because it pays forty grand. I wish I could get something to go with it though. I like combos. Combos are fun. When we get to the Harbour Town, we could get the military license and then get a military thing from the Harbour. City Southwest paying twelve grand. That's a shunting job. That looks like the only viable one. Let's grab that and see if we can find it in the yard. It shouldn't be hard. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Is that eleven cars? We can use one local on that, no problem. I'm guessing. Where would that come from? Probably the sea sea yard, maybe? Over here. It's not that one. Oh, there it is. Oh, God, is it this one? Nope, it's not that one. It's the same kind of... It's got to be this one. Green. Yeah, I reckon it's this one. It's got to be. It can't be anything else, can it? I reckon we just get positioned for this one. Go left and that. Now we're going to have to reverse into this thing, so... Need to look at orientation. So we're currently at 1S and we need to reverse in, so we're going to have to do the opposite of what we just did. It's either that or we just drive over there and use a turntable. Happy anniversary, Nutter. But to be honest, there's no real quick way of doing this anyway. I think we just go we just reverse out to S and then head east and reverse. And I think just before we go I think I'll pick up some fuel before we go in there as well. It's just as quick to do the southeast reverse than it is to drive there and take the turntable. So we'll do that. Okay, we're disconnected, aren't we? And the trusty 001. <laughs> Mr. Kenworth, thanks for 21. Big 12, welcome back. Check the job number. Yeah, I, I should have done that. But to be honest with you, I don't think you're going to find that consist anywhere else in this yard. I looked at the jobs. I didn't see anything else like that. Does it matter which way the loco is facing? Yes. It matters for cooling purposes. So when your engine is... I mean, it doesn't make a difference in terms of tractive effort, but in terms of cooling for the engine... If the air's not rushing in through that radiator, when you're climbing up a hill and the engine's working really hard, it won't cool down. It 
it's too hot to have a cup of tea. I disagree. Why is it called Deer Ray Valley if it's just moving stuff? Because just moving stuff is a massive simplification. It's a bit like saying football's just kicking a ball in a net. I mean, you know, it's true, but there's a bit more to it than that. Nope, there's no fan. Happy well, in theory you get explosions, but I haven't tried it. Try, Christine. Baby Luna is one years old. Are you serious? <laughs> How can that be a year already? <laughs> That's nuts. Is it a birthday? Happy birthday, if it is. Right, let's see if we've got this right. So I think that's going to go east. We want to punt out over here, don't we? And then we want to switch back. There. Yeah, no, I don't really see the point in using the remote when you're in the cab anyway. Decision on SpaceX in 35 minutes as to whether they fuel or not. I'm figuring, Sommy, without even looking, it's 80-20 won't happen. It was her birthday a few days ago, as well as her mum's and her grandmum's, all in late May. Change that and get a cheeky top up on the fuel. You see, this is in the wrong way now. Definitely safe. Using a remote control to, um, have a train coming right at us while we operate another train. Totally safe. Yeah, it was 50 50. It was 50 50, but I'm reckoning it's 80 20. Well, not quite, John Blumeth. The decision's going to be made in 30 minutes as to whether it even happens at all. If it does and they fuel it, they'll go for an 8.30 launch. Okay, that's an overshoot. Oh my god. Literally like two meters. Uh, squirrel fan, welcome back. Fourteen hundred dollars just doing all that moving around the yard. I 
God, I can't start it with the remote. You don't buy trains in this game, Snow Leopard. Yes, you can Elsinore if you use a mod. Default game doesn't let you though. It says power on the battery next to the remote. Yeah, that's to turn the remote on and off. That was butter? Sorry, I'm showing off. Right, let's turn that off a second. And go and grab this job. Now this is going to the harbour town, so... Just looking at the route down to the harbour town. There's actually more than one way of getting to the harbour town from City. Like, the route that I know involves going to the steel mill and then turning south. The actual road south of the harbour town, I can't think why you'd ever want to go that way apart from a scenic run. Because <laughs> that looks like a complete nightmare to me. in low earth orbit like commercial crew which is happening just seeing what they're doing how does that help us for okay they're just talking nonsense um yeah i might just go with one i know that's the this is the downside with career mode is it doesn't encourage you to experiment like, before the career mode came along, I'd go that way just to see what it was like. But now I know it's going to cost me a load of money. I'm not going to go that way. And I think they're going to have to address that. There is no reason that you would ever go this way. You would always try and go a different way. The only reason potentially is that junction there. Like, if you need to get from here to here, you know, you're going to go that way because it's the only route to get there. Otherwise, you're going to have to faff around because of this junction and this junction forces you north. But I don't know if that's taken into consideration when the job generates the um, the money. Mr. Refereck, did you install the mod? Yes. Fancy remote you have there. Imagine standing on the last car and shunting your way around. We, we did that already, Refereck. We did that. Okay, let's check on the contest. 854 to 842. Eight five four. God, I've lost it. It's eight four two. Assuming they're all connected, but now we don't have to assume because I think if we do that and then go like that, it'll tell us that it's got eighteen cars. So we can kind of use that. One, two, three, four, five, six times three, 18 cars. So we know there's 18 cars in the in the connection because the remote tells us.
celebratory punt. Devil, thank you for 33 months, sir. Wait a sec, was that going the right way? This needs to go to the right to take us out of there. And then that's going to take us left towards the steel mill. That's good. What's the signal? Look at the signal strength. It's on red. There we go. <laughs> you see the signal getting stronger at the bottom as we get nearer? Oops. Wrong screen. Looks like that provides a console. What the heck? Game object C book car list is missing. Okay. I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> you don't need to power the remote off. As soon as we stand in the sunshine, it'll recharge anyway. Scanning a flyer, thank you for four months. Mr. Referick, I had to choose between watching the burgers on my barbecue and watching your stream. I'm sorry. I'm ashamed of myself letting the weaker part of it get... Dude, you should have been here eating burnt burgers. That's what you should have been doing. Logistical load. Um, yes, it was. Which means when we get to the harbour town, we might have to punt something out of the way. Which is a real pain. It says haul, uncouple at C1S, validate. That's all it says. Now the big problem with this is as we come around that corner, which is quite slow, this is quite a, a quite a climb. Yeah, 1.1 kilometer train, that's quite big. Looks like it's going left. Notice that 30k limit that came up very, very, very quickly without warning. Which meant I had to hit the brakes quickly. Well, this doesn't want to move. Now, I find that slightly annoying because in the real world, your speed limits are given to you quite early. <laughs> like, you get a warning that that's happening. Rather than just, here's a bend, here's a tree. 30 if you're going left. Like, the surprise speed limit. Now, we just came through the oil well and the farm, so I'm like 99% certain the uh, the point is set up for a straight three run. But we'll double check because we, we actually came the other way, but they should have all been knocked into a line. Signs are going to be retweaked. I hope so. moment the procedure generated. Interesting. Yeah. 
If we get to the harbour and get military one, well, we'll see if there's any interesting jobs that we can get a military license with. That could be kind of fun, all in tanks and stuff. Not so far, Boeing, no, but there's always time. See, the way the grass covers all the tracks makes it so much harder to um, navigate through it when you're trying to set points. Tanks are very heavy. Good. That means we can double shunt it. Because that was fun last time. D6 license. Well, we've got 100 grand, but we need 200. I think we can double shunt for a while. That'll give us 800 tons. The D6 will only give us, what, 1,000 ton? And then the steam, 1,400. I think we'll know in about 20 minutes if the launch is going to happen. That left that signal on the left then only revealed itself as you came from behind a bush and by then it was pretty much too late to switch it. Uh mods remove the grass, I don't know. That kind of makes it easier though, doesn't it? Right, now we've got a right-hand turn coming up, followed by a climb. This is going to be tricky. I just want to cool the engine right down. I can't remember the speed limit around this turn though. see the point but it won't let me set it right 50 limit that's fine yeah this the stuttering himper is just in the game That means we're about to go up a climb. That symbol well. Get the sand, get the traction going. Consist is 270 meters, 328 tons. I don't think we're going to have the momentum for this. Nope, this is going to be a problem. 
that right hand turn kills all your momentum yep this is a big issue don't think we're going to make it Give it any more power, just get more wheel slip. And that's with the sand, which has cost a lot of money. And what we could do is get past that point there and then reverse it down the steel mill and then take a run up. And that's going to lose a lot of time. If you stay as we are, the engine temperature is going to get too high and we'll not make it. This is a long hill. And a hill start from here is not going to work. We are steadily increasing speed though. Now we got around the corner. So really, it's just a matter of will the engine overheat before we get to the top? And the question the, the, probably will overheat before we get up there. There's the warning. accelerating though but maybe if we back off on the throttle and try and hold that temperature and hold that speed that's going to save a lot more time than rolling back down the hill there we go we just hold it steady Yeah, or we run out of sand. <laughs> we just got to monitor the needles. I think we'll make it. We're going to hang a left and then a left again. should reach a, um, a plateau in a second and then the speed will start to pick up again but that engine temperature is like almost critical that point is pointing left I think I don't think it's the steepest in the game no but I've not been all around the map so I don't know I think somebody made a map um, somebody took the default map and they marked speed limits on it and maybe gradients I can't remember Okay, we're good. Just about got up now. That was close. Uh, where's the DVO, Walker Bank? Yeah, that big loop is steep. Yeah, so there's um, this here, this loop climbs through the inside of like a massive hill that is quite steep uh, welcome slacken 99 to the to the no house thank you for your sub and where's the DVO we did two months already Woot, 